Hey guys, Quinn here, Tactical and Practical. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're going to take a look today at this Miopka Optica 6. This example is 2.5 to 15 by 44, so it's utilizing, that's why it's called the Optica 6, 6 times magnification system. Uh, take a look in the box. I think I'm not going to keep this. I bought it to upgrade glass on my 243. The glass that's on there is old, but it was made in Heiko or Hakko, H-A-K-K-O, Japan. Uh, so it's actually pretty good glass, and to my eye, I couldn't see a big difference. Um, I could see a difference on the, on the 3 to 18 by 50, and that's largely due to the larger objective lens, so I may keep that. Part of the reason I wanted to try and upgrade is that... Um, Dawn and dusk I had trouble picking up that reticle and I was looking for something with illumination which this has. This is made in Czechoslovakia which is a little different. I thought I'd try something new, get into uh, European glass that wouldn't break the bank. Mine came with a broken flip cap um, strap but I think that that is probably the exception not the rule. Here it is. Uh, comes in I don't know around 30 ounces and the magnification ring is smooth and not overly difficult. It does have this kind of rubberized knurling right here, so it's easy to move. It also includes a throw lever, which is kind of nice because Vortex will nick you like 60 bucks for the throw level lever, although um, I think with a lot of loopholes you get one. This is kind of interesting. It's a second focal plane scope, which for me for hunting is fine. That way I can see the reticle pretty clearly on lower magnifications. And the, generally I like one thing or the other. I either want an uncapped elevation turret, which they're now making, but you have to step up to the 56 uh, millimeter objective to get that feature. Um, so it's capped elevation, capped windage, which is fine because typically I'll hold for wind. And then you have your parallax adjustment, which goes down to 20, a little bit, actually dials under 20, so it goes down to 10, and it goes up to obviously infinity with marks uh, about every 100 yards up to 500. Illumination is on the side. I went with the duplex reticle, I think they call it the 4C, with the red dot because the red dot was really part of what I was thinking about. Here's how I'm looking at that reticle. They do offer a, a wide array of reticle selections, they have six or eight of them. I either want, if I have a subtended scope, I want it to be FFP. If it's a second plane, plane subtended scope, those subtensions are only accurate at one magnification. So if you're off the highest, you have to do some mental math to correct for um, how those subtensions, what the distances actually mean. So if I have subtensions, I want it to be FFP so the subtensions are always true. If I want a duplex reticle, I will dial, which means I would typically like to have the elevation turret um, exposed. So if you're going to use this for hunting, like on my 243, I would set it for maximum point blank range, whatever zero that works out to be. I think it's like maybe 175 yards, zero. And then I know that the bullet drop is such that I'm good out to 300 yards with the round. So basically, you, you zero to maximum point blank range, you just hold dead on, and even with the hottest loads out of that 243, I'm at um, 1,000 pounds of force at about 444 yards. So um, 300 yards is probably realistically the, the distance I would consider using that 243 for an ethical shot. If you wanted to go higher, you would just have to remember your dials for 350, 400, 425. You can hear that? There's no real wiggle in the, uh, in the dial. Feels nice. Clicks are audible and positive. So I would have it at zero. Like I said, zero to maximum point blank range. And then the cap turret doesn't really bother me because I never need to use it. Unless I'm taking a really long shot, in which case I probably have time to unscrew this cap. That, I think, is probably the best application of this scope. Um, it is super clear glass and bright. The eye box is marginally forgiving. Um, it does have a diopter adjustment. If you wear glasses, you can adjust it to your eye. 
overall I'm happy with it. The build quality feels good. Uh, it just didn't feel like a big jump up from the Japanese glass that I already have on that rifle and it's hard to justify spending the money if I'm not getting the, the extra quality that I'm looking for. I did want the red dot, which this does have. These come in illuminated and non-illuminated reticle versions. So that's the plus. Um, side focus, my current setup has the, uh, the parallaxes on the end of the bell, which is fine. Um, if I'm not going to see a big jump in glass quality, I'm not going to pay to upgrade just for the red dot. I just don't see the value there. Potentially, I'll keep the 3 to 18 50 millimeter version because that is noticeably brighter and I could put that on there and, and keep that. Um, but for hunting application, this is great. I would just encourage you to think about MPBR, MBPR, and then not having to worry about holding and not have to worry about dialing unless you exceeded that distance. Feels well made, kind of cool. Czechoslovakian is a little bit different. Um, it gets you into the European market without having to spend as much as you would like on a Zeiss. And this, uh, these guys have been making glass since 1933. And I think at the same factory they, they manufactured the Zeiss Conquests. So they, they clearly know what they're doing. And it's kind of neat to get something from um, somewhere else in the, in the world. Um, it's, you know, I've got a loophole, I've got Burris, I've got Vortex. Fun to try something else out too. So, quick glance at it. Feels well made. I think you'd be happy with it. It's pretty clear, pretty lightweight, pretty compact. Um, it does have a lifetime North American guarantee, but I believe you have to register it. Um, this is the Optica 6 by Mia Opta 2.5 to 15 by 44. Um, second focal plane scope on this, although they do make other choices. Pretty pleased. I think you'd be happy with it. It's just probably not a big enough jump um, over my current setup to justify making a switch. Thanks, guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye.